Philly Film Games. It's over. Hey, welcome back to Philly Film Games. Still playing The Legend of Zelda, and I've got the flippers. Yippee doo da. Hooray, hurrah. Whee! I'm gonna go this way. There's something over here I saw. Kind of want to get it real quick. Hooray. Piece of heart. So, yeah. Freshwater seashells. Always a treat. But, like I said, I can't blame the students anymore. I can't. I'm realizing it's not just Google. It's not just the fact that they don't read books. Even though, and I'm quoting Danny Sexbang, uh, phones carry the Library of Alexandria in them now. Yeah, I want to throw something in here. I want to throw an item. I want to throw that. Ah, crap. Yes, I did, lady. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the other one is. I think I want to try... This. I think this is what I want. Yes, it was. Alright, cool beans. I still remember that. So amazing that, you know, after 20 some odd years, I still remember a lot of the things from this game. Um, right. Anyway. I, where am I at now? Oh, I, yeah, I can be here because I can get stuff. Because I want to go this way and get another bottle. But like I said, I can't blame Google. I can't blame books now. I have to, I, I just have to accept the fact that mm, their parents are dumb. Oh, come on! Really? Oh, wow. I survived that. That is so cool. Now I've just made that realization in my life that the parents are the ones who are dumb. Even though the students are here of their own volition, which is, alright, one of the things I do here is I'm a teaching assistant for a very large class. Uh, on, more, on a regular basis, I also lecture this course. Uh, and I figured, hey, I do an all right job. I'm a little bit different than the professor who teaches it. I'm, we've got this very weird good cop, bad cop mentality that goes along with it. And uh, I figured it's not so bad. He's a little bit more soft-spoken than I am. I'm loud when I need to be. But this past week, he had he had a conference that he was attending, and so he requested that I take care of both classes for the week. All right, not a problem, not a problem at all. I can take care of this little business for you. Apparently, he mentioned it to his students because next. In, in relative terms, nobody showed up. Uh, the classroom itself, because there's two parts to it, there's an online section and a classroom section. The, cl the class section consists of over 90 students. At one time, you're teaching to. 
which can be a little intimidating for people that are not accustomed to it. Uh, I'm, I've never had that problem. So, apparently, like I said, 90 students in the class, and he must have mentioned that he was going to be out of town for the week, and this gave students the, oh snap, I did not, that's something I just realized, I did not create the assignment, I gotta do that. Oh, I'm glad I'm thinking about it now. Because normally he's the one that creates it, but I guess I gotta create it. So, anyway, back to my story. And now that I realize that I'm dumb. Uh. Hello. Uh. <laughs> anywho. So he's gone for the week, and this lets this gives students the idea that hey, we don't have to show up. What is the GTA going to tell them? And guess what? More than half of them felt that way. So in a class of 90 plus, I had barely 40. <sighs> All right. For those of you out there listening what it is that I'm saying. Let me tell you something that I feel is very important in terms of education. Uh, when it comes to college, one of the great things about college is... Oh, hi, old man. Uh, one of the great things about college is that it does not... Uh, it, it allows you freedom to do pretty much what you want so long as you make the grade, you should be fine. Makes total sense. Uh, but, this is where, holy cow, I'm tired. I'm tired. I have no idea why. Uh, this is where you need to start making adult decisions. Um... Yes, yes, talk too much. Yeah, because I wasn't paying attention to anything that you were even saying. Yes, get in there so I can walk in. <sighs> See you later, old man. Um, Alright. At the university that I, that I teach, uh, a three-credit course roughly costs... A thousand dollars. So, um, it's kind of expensive. Uh, to me, it, it's kind of expensive to miss a class. Besides, it might not be you right now who's paying for the course, but somebody's paying for it. And as such, you have an investment that you probably should be taken care of. It Does that sound crazy? I even tell my students that in class when they when, when a lot of miss and they're like, you know, a thousand dollars is what you're paying to sit in this class. Do you understand that? Because you know, you're all worried about being a poor college student and, you know, spending money, but yet you don't seem to have the problem of of just blowing off class. That's essentially throwing money away. Total frickin' sense. Whatever. Whatever, whatever. That was fun. And walk in there and steal it like nothing happened. So, yeah. So, here's what I did. I make it... Here's the thing. I reward loyalty. I've always done that. Some of you know them as... 
I get like in my smaller classes, if there's an attendance issue, uh, the ones who show up get bonus points by taking the the name exam, which means you you all sign a piece of paper and uh, you get bonus points just for being there. Uh, so what I did for this class was I had, um, we were talking about film. And I think a lot of students, especially uh, when I teach my public speaking class, don't get the same um, experiences about things that I think they should. So what I decided to do was um, the last 20 minutes, half hour of class, we were going to sit and watch clips from really good movies, important movies. Because, like I said, I think a lot of these kids have no clue what they're missing. So we watched clips from uh, A Few Good Men, All the King's Men, uh, Rocky Balboa, and a couple others. And then I finished it off with um, uh, The Great Dictator. Because I felt that was extremely important to get out there. Because even if they never watch the movie, at least they get that part. Because I think that's incredibly important. But, we'll discuss more about this next time on Philly Film Games.